Assalamu alaikum dear student this is Wajid Risha and I welcome you back to the second lecture of chapter number 4 chapter name is electromagnetic induction and the topic name is Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction which is given on page number 149 in the class second year book in the previous topic previous lecture we had discussed we had explained the concept of electromagnetic induction which was put forward by Michael Faraday in 1831. The concept is that a changing magnetic field induces electricity which is the main source of electricity in the world nowadays. After the discovery Faraday performed different experiments and concluded that the induced EMF is directly proportional to the number of returns in the coil and the rate of change of the magnetic flux. These are two different turns. If number of the turns in the coil, number of loops in the coil is increased, so induced EMF increases in magnitude. On the other hand, if we change the speed, the rate of the changing magnetic flux, EMF also increases. And if we decrease any one of them, EMF will finally be decreased. Okay. As we are unable to perform further uh, calculation based on this relation, so we will change this relation into an equation by introducing a constant k in the equation. Now this becomes an equation where k is the constant of proportionality and its value comes out to be. So finally we can write EMF induced in the coil because of uh, electromagnetic induction is E is equal to N delta phi divided by delta T. This is Michael Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. Faraday proposed two laws of electromagnetic induction. First one is, a changing magnetic field induces an electromagnetic force in a conductor. The second is, electromagnetic force is proportional to the rate of change of the field. An additional law, which is called Lenz's law, which is normally written along with the Michael Faraday law in the form of a negative sign in almost all of the books, this negative shows the direction of induced current. We will explain this negative sign in next lecture. So, EMF is equal to minus N delta phi divided by delta T. This shows, this part of the equation shows that magnitude of the EMF is equal to N number of loops in the coil rate of change of the flux in the coil. And this negative sign which was explained by another scientist which is called Lenz's law. To explain it briefly here, let me show you that the direction of the induced EMF is such that it will oppose the cause generating the current itself. The induced EMF are the induced current will try to oppose the reason of its own existence. So this is what we call Lenz's law and as a whole we can call it Michael Faraday law of electro 
magnetic induction. This is mathematical form of my uh, electromagnetic induction law. There are so many applications of the Faraday's law in our daily life, like for example, nowadays electricity is being generated in the world by the use of the same concept, Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. Another application is in the seismometer. What is a seismometer? Seismometer is a device, an arrangement which can measure the intensity of the earthquakes in the world. So, the seismometer, the basic diagram of the seismometer is uh, shown here uh, on the board. Uh, for example, we have This is a part of the machine which we can draw simply. You should ignore the drawing because I'm not a drawing teacher. I'm a physics. So, to simply, we have a helical spring, mass attached to the spring. cylinder around which we can own a coil and the base which is obviously used for placing it on surfaces. An earthquake is shaking of the earth's surface known as the crust. The Earth's crust is made up of huge rock plates which can shift to cause an earthquake. Most earthquakes happen when two rock plates meet, creating friction. This force is so strong it will send shock waves through the ground creating an earthquake. This is a scientific reason of the earthquake, earthquakes happening in the world. The machine is basically kind of seismometer which works on the principle of electromagnetic induction. It transforms received vibration energy into an electrical voltage. This is a coil wounded around its electrical body, a needle which connects the mass attached to spring with a coil. The relative motion between a magnet and a coil, one of which is attached to the inertial mass and one is attached to the spring, which induces an EMF in the coil. This is, for example, coil wounded around the cylindrical part, and this is a magnet. This mass attached to the spring is basically a magnet which moves up and down by the vibration of the earth and because of this vibration magnetic field is changing across the square which induces an EMF or induces a current which can be shown on the screen of monitor of the computer. Stronger are the vibrations of the earth, stronger is the relative motion of the magnets. Up and down are left to right across the coil. Stronger, rapid will be the changing magnetic flux across the coil and EMF or induced current will be having greater value in the spring. This is an application of Michael Faraday law. Thank you. Have a nice day.